honest type person is what Corey was. Those are the words used to describe Liberty County High School's baseball coach, Corey Crum, who along with his wife, Shanna, were killed Sunday trying to clean up their baseball field. Sheriff's officials say Crum and his wife were electrocuted after Corey Crum came into contact with a live wire. His wife tried to help him and she was also electrocuted. Their son, Chase, then came to their aid and was also hurt. In Liberty County, we've been through so much devastation with the hurricanes and the, you know, the tornado threats until... I think everybody's just really tired, and uh, it was it was just devastating to hear this. It's heartbreaking. But like many small communities, they're banding together to begin the healing process, and support is coming from their neighbors. We've got some some uh, counselors coming, even from Franklin County and other counties that we so appreciate. And in the wake of the deaths, rivals on the ball field have become teammates. In effect, just all of the the communities that we play against, you know, on, on the ball field have really stepped up and have offered support and uh, it's so much appreciated because we're, we're all in this together. Those at the field when the accident happened have turned to each other for support. Yesterday for about four or five hours after it happened, we were, uh, there was well over a hundred folks out of the baseball field. We just, we just hugged each other and, and, and tried to encourage each other that we will get through this. School officials say baseball will continue for Liberty County because that's what Coach Crum would have wanted. And residents know the next time his players step onto the diamond. Uh, there's no doubt every game's going to be played for Coach.